Okay, this is another Kaladesh box opening. Once again, these um, bundles will be given away as prizes. Uh, we're going to take every um, $10 member. We're going to, for every 10 $10 members, one of you will get one of these bundles that we open up. Um, as you can see, I've already opened eight. I'm going to open the ninth one that's in there right now. And uh, hopefully I'll get to the Eldritch Moon stuff that's also there. Uh, this stuff will be on sale at Batline1969 at Yahoo.com. I just want to show you once again Alina Igna's art for Kaladesh. Very nice picture. Um, and I think now we're going to get back to the box opening. Uh, a quick uh, subject to talk about is that the Aether Revolt is going to come out January 20th, 2017. And hopefully our player network will be open. Um, there is also... Another game of note, which is the Magic Puzzle Quest. I have played it. It's very good. Um, you can absolutely play without paying and still have fun. Um, I, I started. I started the game uh, not too long ago, and. Um, It's very, very good. Uh, once again, I am going to open the box of Kaladesh. Just remember, always open from the back. And always keep the flap so that uh, you can keep that, that box. Um... Trying to keep the camera stable here a little bit so that I could um, open the product up. And this is box opening number two. As you could tell before, the last box I opened wasn't very good. I'm going to move these down now. And this is our box we just opened. We got a black die this time. Once again, it comes with box within a box. The packs of uh, cards and and of course the box itself with an extra box in here. It's kind of like a pencil box. I've showed that before in one of my videos. I think I just want to get to opening up these packs um, start one at a time yeah let's start with this one and um, let us see what we have with Pack number one. Um, I would just go to the back. I am actually going to lift this a minute to try to get, ooh, yeah, try to get a better view. But, um, oh, this is going to. So, uh, way too close. Um, trying to see if I can get it to stand up a little here. All right. Here we go. Uh, looks like Got Lord of L Luxury. Any other good cards in here? 
Don't know. Ah, looks like get a lot of luxury is the only good card. Uh, let's try another pack. I think I'm getting. I don't, I don't think I'm getting it. Uh, yeah, we'll try another pack of. Try to get all the ones that are a little bit different. Okay, so here we go again. Uh, camera's a little bit out of place here, so all the regular cards and uh, wildest dreams. Not very good. Alrighty. So let's try pack number uh, three now. Looks like another uh, another of the angel cards. Um, yeah, it looks like another of the angel cards pack. And um, let's go for this again. Not a bad angel card. Actually, that's a good combo right there. That angel and this guy. Every time he flips somebody out, this guy goes up one point. Gets a one plus one counter. Not a bad thing. Yeah. Another captured by the console. Oh, well. That is pack number three. <clears throat> well, now pack number four is the demon pack. Let's open that sucker up. All right, let's take a good look here. And let's go through this really quick. Now... No, and not a very good rare again. So that's pack uh, number four. Uh, that's one, two, three, four. All right, let's head for pack number. Uh, I still have six packs left. Let's try this one. Another another angel card. Fortunately. Let's hope this one has something good in it. Uh, packs are not super easy to open. So yeah, that's pack number five. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, not a bad card, Fairgrounds. And that uh, a land that is it's okay. Got need land to play, but it's still not great. Uh, once again, those of you wishing to play in our play network, you can send um, payments, any type of donation of like ten dollars and up, or even even a dollar. But those of you who spend ten uh, send ten dollars, um, for every ten of you, we will be giving away one of these bundles to one of you guys who contribute. Yeah, the player network that I'm trying to get started is one that um, uh, we want to play uh, basically all over the United States. Of course, we're only talking about maybe 20, 20 cities or 13 cities. 
Yeah, that that last pack was uh, Sahili pack. Ah, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, again, console and not a bad card, but not very not very playable. Oh, all right. Let's see if we have a. Yeah, let's try this one. Let's try this um, Chandra pack. Yeah, Chandra. Um, yeah. Let's throw that over there. And let's see what we got in here. Um, yeah, so the player network that we have on. Uh, we're trying to get uh, basically kids to play. So the more new players we have, the better it is. Ooh, not a bad card. But it's a charger. Not a very good rare. Um, the more players we get, the, be the better it will be. Um, hopefully... Hopefully... Um, these prizes will get better. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or three left. Uh, so let's see what's in here. Uh, all right, let's open that back, that bad boy up. to say it but nothing very good either that is the rare those are the uncommons and these packs have been pretty terrible actually this is the second box of terrible openings I think Kaladesh is a big fail as far as price wise and uh Let's get another of these packs. Let's open this up. Uh, there we go. Oops, can't. Getting a little tired here. Kind of moving into a different position. Um, back it up there. And I like that card a lot. Larger than life. Look, another one of these. Actually, with them flipping, that's a pretty good combo with that guy who uh, gets the 1 plus 1 counter every time something goes in and out. I actually like playing the um, Magic Puzzle Quest. This guy's in there. So of course, he's he's uh, with the Dovin Bond character. Ah, not a not a bad Cultivator Caravan. Woohoo! That's pretty nice. And the foil, not a very good card though. I like the Cultivator Caravan. Um, haven't gotten too many of those, but not very expensive either. Ooh. So right now, uh, I believe we're down to the last pack. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, we're up to the last pack. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, it hasn't been very, very good, very um, fruitful. Um. But we are going to try to to get this last pack open. Last uh, Sahili pack. Sahili pack. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I like doing these openings with uh, Alina Igna. Um, she's my partner in crime. 
she's actually bow tie girl. Um, and she's the one who drew a great piece of art that was on the wall. Let's take a look here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, our first harness lightning. Wow, that's the first in like almost six boxes. I think I've only gotten one other one. And then, uh, Glimmer and a Smuggler's Copter. Woo! Well, that's the first good card uh, or substantial card that I've opened in almost... Um, in almost like four of these these boxes um smuggler's copter is probably one of the most uh sought after cards um because it makes almost any any deck work better because you're able to loot look at the card and then discard it if you don't need it or use it if you do um this was a more quick Um, opening um, the last one took me a little bit more time and uh, once again I, I just hope that um, if, if you are willing to subscribe please subscribe um, once again anyone sending uh, ten dollars or more you for every ten of you one of you will get one of these bundles which really has not been that great in opening um i hope to see you guys soon and i still have about four more bundles to go um i i really think the eldritch moon is paying off a little better though and um i i just hope that magic starts putting better stuff in in these uh boxes as like uh, even Kevin at um, who who uh, used to do card sharp life with Magic the Gathering has now moved on pretty much to doing Pokemon stuff because they are providing better stuff for their players. Um, one 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 thing, um, uh, MTG Lion, uh, he had mentioned before that. A lot of the Magic the Gathering uh, action figures were two, like two ninety nine or three ninety nine at the dollar store, and um, you know, had they put a very rare card in each of those, uh, they probably would have sold tons, tons of that stuff. But they didn't have the insight to put one very rare, probably more expensive card. And, you know, maybe charge $35 for the figure, but you'll get a $20 card or something. A uh, very powerful card with probably a low, low cost, you know, and it would have been great. But, of course, Magic is a little bit behind on thinking. Um, uh, maybe they should be hiring some of those people that are here on at YouTube, you know. Anyway, if you uh, uh, want to send anything uh, to my PayPal account, that's batline1969 at yahoo.com. Uh, and please let me know in, your, uh, in a memo uh, that this is for the production of this show and for our, uh, the Player Network. Um, see you soon.